A good Sunday morning to you, Roger Hill of Weathering Heights. This weather video driven by 802cars.com represents 802 Toyota, Twin City Subaru and 802 Honda all located off of exit 7 on Interstate 89. Real cold temperatures this morning, but that's not the big picture here. The worry is this hybrid system, which is going to be taking a track uh, somewhere along this kind of a line here. And uh, as it does so, it looks like it's going to maintain the area of low pressure, not tracking overhead and not so much to the east, but really to the west across New York. That sets up a much better potential for gradient winds and a, uh, a strong um, gradient wind event, especially for the southern and central greens and getting in also into the White Mountains as well and casting some gradient wind issues with downsloping off the White Mountains into some parts of the Northeast Kingdom. This is a very tricky forecast. We've got multiple parameters, it looks like, that uh, really are on the fence line. But what's starting to look more and more certain now is uh, the confidence in the gusts of wind will be somewhere around uh, 40 to locally 55 miles per hour. But at summit levels, these winds will be up around 60, 65, maybe even higher. And probably the uh, places like Mount Mansfield and certainly Mount Washington will show those winds very, very, very strong. Uh, it's what gets down to the surface. And what makes this difficult is that we'll have this precipitation, which you can see here is a storm system. Again, it's going to be tracking more or less up the Appalachians, not a nor'easter, not off the coast. Anything to the right would keep and lock in the cold air and keep us all snow. Anything to the left will start out as snow, as you're seeing in this particular area here. And then that will transcend uh, as it tracks north and east, that precipitation shield starting out as snow and then eventually changing over to some rain uh, in the middle part of the storm and then back to snow on the back end. So a uh, couple different parts to it, but the winds are starting to become a little bit more clear now where the... Uh, the western slopes of the Green Mountains, especially the southern parts of Vermont, um, southern counties of Bennington, certainly uh, into Rutland, probably into Addison County, maybe a little bit of a drop off, but shift over toward the Whites, probably some parts of uh, maybe eastern Orange, uh, Essex County, potentially even into Caledonia County in some spots with gusty winds interacting as this area of low pressure makes a little more of a westward track. Okay, we have the European model on the left, and we have um, the high-resolution uh, Canadian model on the right. And here's our ridge of higher pressure. This is valid at about uh, 4 o'clock this afternoon. Here comes the precipitation. This is about uh, 10 o'clock this evening. So it's coming in just a little hotter, a little bit faster. Um, again, higher resolution will try to capture some of these uh, particular fields here, precipitation type. The leading edge of snow here, this is about 1 in the morning. That's uh, 4 o'clock in the morning. You can see that it's made it almost up to the Canadian border. Same thing with the high-resolution Canadian. Heavy snow has now begun to fall across the Green Mountains in the southern areas, the Berkshires and parts of uh, southern New England, with that rain line ever so slowly increasing and heading our direction. This is a heavier snow by uh, 7 o'clock in the morning on Monday. This is valid at about 10 o'clock in the morning. So this is precipitation shown during that three-hour period right up to 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, what you're seeing here is the contingent conditions continuing to um, mostly show snow with a little bit of rain once we get that lighter amount of uh, precipitation but here again we have the track of the area of low pressure off to the west and that's what's making this very very difficult but not all the models are in agreement of course there's a little bit of a tricky situation here and with this uh, Canadian high resolution model so we end up uh, seeing a lull once we get into the evening hours and for the most part the uh, system is pretty much done we have a little bit of a backside and probably see something like one to three inches of dusting to a couple of inches maybe a little bit more in some of the uh, northern green mountains as the storm pushes away into parts and there's a a bit of a westerly flow on the backside picking a little bit more of that uh, moisture in off the great lakes the North American meso model has been the one that's been holding out the most here with uh, uh, holding a little bit more uh, precipitation types uh, changing faster to rain. And uh, this is the approach of the system. You can see what's going on in Virginia here with some freezing rain. It's going to be a mess as it rolls into Pennsylvania and eventually toward us. This is the 12Z model, so it's very, very new. So what we're going to do here is go back to the 06Z model and run that. And you can see what that means so the snow this is the NAM again 
and you can see really heavy snow in the, the sort of the uh, eastern slopes of the Berkshires and now working into the Green Mountains. And the southern and central Green Mountains could see some potential wet snow loading here. Temperatures are very marginal at this point. This is about, about uh, the 9 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. That's, uh, that's 9 o'clock, actually 10. That's uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And you can see that transition where things turn lighter, but the temperatures do get warmer. There may be a little bit of unloading. If there's any wet snow loading on the eastern slopes, we may see temperatures warm enough to unload that pretty quickly. So that's going to reduce any kind of problems. But a pretty good, pretty good shot of moderate to heavy snowfall on the southern Green Mountains, no doubt about that. And of course, very strong winds, which we'll look at here in a second. But there's the area of low pressure to the west, tracking and then a little bit north of Burlington, uh, north of the Champlain Valley, and then it continues on that sort of a mission. Now in terms of wind gusts, this is the storm system approaching. This is valid at about uh, 10 o'clock uh, tonight. And we're just starting to see the first yellows here, 40 miles per hour or higher. Continuing to roll up. I think that's 40 knots actually. And then uh, we start to see the stronger winds and the interaction of this low level jet as it spreads north. And uh, that's valid at about four o'clock in the morning. So the winds are already cranking up uh, in, even into the summits of the Northern Greens. The main area though, again, I would say Eastern Addison, certainly a good portion of Rutland and a lot of Bennington is the main effect there. And then we'll watch the Northeast Kingdom here as we advance this. This is valid at about uh, seven o'clock in the morning on Monday. That's uh, eight, nine, that's 10 o'clock in the morning. And you can see that we're looking at some strong winds, especially in the highlands of the Northeast Kingdom. And some of that is flaring off the White Mountains and downsloping as well. So the Northeast Kingdom looks to be involved with strong winds now as well. That's valid about, uh, that's uh, going to be noon right there. It looks like the last of the strongest winds are pushing on out of the region. So in terms of winds, it looks like the event's really going to be over with roughly about midday or early afternoon. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights. Thanks for watching.